Over the next few videos, we're going to look at some of the libraries which I have already built into the ROM. Now, probably the most visually appealing of these libraries will be the graphics library. So that's what we're going to start off with. Now, we only have one instruction which sits at the base of this library. And that instruction is the pixel command. So this allows us to plot a pixel onto the screen. And there's no other graphics related instruction. So in order for us to build up the library, if we join all of the points together, we can generate a line. If we join the lines together, we can generate triangles and rectangles and so on and so forth. And we can also draw circles. So from this basic command, and the only one we have, we can build up our entire library. So let's quickly have a recap on the pixel command and we'll see how that works before we begin and have a look and see the rest of the subroutines. So in the pixel command, we're going to have origin 0 cross 8,000. Now, I'll actually put an explanation first of all of how the pixel command works. So we're going to have pixel, the next um, part of the command is going to be the card. Okay, because uh, it's a memory mapped I.O. and we need to tell the machine that we're interested in outputting data to a particular place and that particular place is the graphics card okay so we need to have the card number here for the memory mapped io and then we're going to have to have the color and then the position so the position in the screen the way that it actually works it does the y coordinate first and then it does the x coordinate okay so that's a, a description of sorts, but we'll get into a little bit more detail. So we're going to have pixel, and the card is always going to be the same. It's FFF5. Now the colour can be whatever colour you want to make it, okay? And it's got to be a, a hex number, but the colour has to be in register R0, okay? And the position again is going to be a, a hex number, and the position is going to be in register R1. And the way the position works is that we're going to have the 8 bits for the, sorry, 16 bits for the position. The most significant 8 bits is going to be the Y coordinate and the least significant 8 bits is going to be the X coordinate. Okay, so if I was to write a little command to print a pixel to the center of the screen, I would have something along the lines of uh, data hash uh, 0 cross 8080 comma r1 um, okay uh, and I'll explain that just in a minute once we get started data hash 0 cross and fffff comma r0. So you can see here that r0 is going to be the colour. So the colour fffff in our RGB is the colour white. Okay, so that goes into register r0. Now the position is goes into register r1. So if we wanted to go halfway down and halfway along, well, halfway in the, the screen, the screen is going to be 256. By 256. So halfway along is uh, 128 and 128. So 128 in our hex is 80, and then the other 128 for the least significant bits again is 80. So that's going to give us our position and our color. So what we can do is we can actually use the command then pixel, and the card is going to be. 0 cross triple F5 comma R0 
comma R1 and we can press, we can write end, okay? So this simple little bit of code is going to print a dot in the center of the screen. So I will go ahead and assemble this and then we'll run it and we'll see it actually working. So I have gone ahead and loaded the program in. So let's just run it and it should run fairly quickly. And there you go, we see a little dot placed in the centre of the screen. You know, maybe not the most exciting thing, but I, I quite like it. Every time I see a little dot being placed on that screen, it makes me smile. Um, so I'll stop this now. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to look at our first actual um, pixel subroutine. So this pixel subroutine um, is called plot and it makes it a little bit easier for us to place the values on the screen. So in this instance here, in order to get to the center of the, scre the screen, we had to work out um, 8080 zero, zero to get to here. But really we just want to put in the coordinates. So what I want is the center of the screen to be coordinate 0, 0. So to get the center of the screen, I just want to put in 0, 0 and it just finds the center of the screen. Now, whenever I move in this direction, it's going to be positive values. So it'll go all the way up to pod plus 1 to 8. When I move this way, it'll go to minus 1 to 8. When I go up the way, it'll be plus 1 to 8. Down the way will be minus 1 to 8. So I just want just a normal x, y coordinate with a positive and negative. But the maximum uh, distance we can go is 1 to 8, uh, left, right, up, up and down. So let's have a look and we'll see that now. So I've gone to the .asm folder, which contains all of our machine code. And I've pulled out two files here. So the one on the left here is the actual subroutine that allows us to do the plot command. Now I'm not going to talk through the subroutine in detail. That's not part of this uh, video series. If you're interested in looking at all of the details, then this is on Design a CPU 3 course, where I work my way through all of the uh, libraries. So it comes over here and this runs through and it does the plot. Now, what's really important here is just to follow the route that we've seen when we looked at our subroutines. So we're going to push the value of X onto the stack, push the value of Y, and push the colour. And then we're going to jump to the subroutine graph underscore plot. It's going to go through the routine and position the point correctly on the screen. And then it's going to come back here and then we're going to end the programme. But the difference now is that we can plot the, uh, the values that we want. We just need to put the numbers in. So for example here, I've put the number minus 100. And the Y position is minus 100. So it should go along minus 100, down minus 100, and then put a little white dot. And again, we can change the color here as well to whatever color we want. And the thing to note here is we are actually pushing the value. Okay, we're not pushing the address. So we're passing the, the value into the subroutine. So let me run through this and we'll see the actual dot appearing on the screen. Okay. So I've gone ahead and loaded it into the machine. Let's just run through the simulation. Now it'll take about, I think it's about 10 or 15 seconds for it to go through and stick this dot on the machine, on the graphics card. So there it is there. Okay, so you can see the center of the screen. Let me stop this first. You can see the center of the screen is about here somewhere. So it's going along minus 100, down minus 100, and it's put the dot in. So in fact, we can position a dot anywhere on the screen here, just simply by pushing in the X, the Y, and the, the color. And it's a much simpler way of putting a dot on the screen rather than using the pixel command. So this is a, a really nice and prime example of 
why we want to generate uh, nice subroutines and save the subroutines on into the ROM. And we can continually reuse this plotting function. And you'll see it later on whenever we go on and we generate um, some parametric uh, equations and we're able to plot them off on the screen, which is I think is really quite cool. So that's enough for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll continue with the graphics library and we'll go through a few more of the subroutines that we can use and we'll see how we can generate some funky graphics. So thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.